Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. When we last left off, we were embroiled in combat with Kefka, and he was putting up more of a fight than I expected him to put up. He's pretty tough for a crazy dandy. A crazy scarf-caped dandy. Don't think you've won. I'll be back. No, no, oh, it's not over yet. Escape spelled escape. A peace ring? No gold or experience, though. What's that supposed to do? Knack! I won't forget this. What? What? Why did he twirl? Twirl escape? Anyway. Where's the Esper? Is it okay? I, I, I know that they didn't reach it. <laughs> I made sure of that. Just a moment. Yes, my paranoia got that better of me. Just had to make sure we were recording. That was a close call. Can it still be alive? It's impossible, right? Uh-oh. Terra, what is it? Oh no. Oh no. Is it time for more shenanigans? Are all these guys just gonna disappear? No. Dramatic. Oh god! Well, it's not erasing anybody from existence, but everyone is either knocked out or completely incapacitated. Terra and the Esper, there's some kind of reaction. What? What am I feeling? Where are my feelings? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is really dramatic, but just sorry that just popped into my head. Please tell me, who am I? Who? Who are you? Who are you really? Um, an Esper. I can actually feel its mind. Ugh. Terra, you should probably step away from that thing. This again. Maybe the matchstick machinery interfered with the process in some way. Well, I wanted a Terra, but instead I got a pink spirit. Oh, could I just put a. Whoa! That's a hell of a noise. Oh, God. And. Away she goes. Oh, wow. Oh, geez. Okay, flight. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. She seems... She seems a little lost. Huh. Well, then. Time for everyone to recover from the explosion. <laughs> You're awake? Hops out of bed. Where's Terra? She changed into something and took off, and she looked like... She looked like an Esper. Dun dun! Locke, are you okay? Well, you have the fewest hit points. I uh, got knocked out for a little while there. Something's happened to Terra. There seems to be some connection between Esper's and her. I thought this is well established. Anyway, we need to find her. Witnesses saw her screaming across the sky to the, sky to the west. Jesus. Let's go. I promised her that I'd... Lock. Think, people. The Empire still wants that Esper. Benin also needs our help, too. A former Imperial soldier. But we've no choice. We must help her. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for Terra will stay and guard Narsh. Figaro Castle can shuttle us to the western province. Then we'll make for Kalingan or Jidor. Well, I am going to take this party and load it for Bear. Sorry, Cyan, you'll have to stay behind. 
I definitely want Celeste's magic. I definitely want Locke's ability to steal Edgar's tools. And I want Sabin's pure, raw, muscly might. Then that'll do. And if you want to change, you can speak to any of these guys, change group members, and you can alter your group if what you've got is not working out well for you. But now we can explore Narsh to our leisure. Only the chest in the back is locked. I wonder if it can be opened. These are Narsh's treasures. They're willing to offer them up to us so that we can uh, better pursue the Empire's defeat. That being said, we got a lot of really cool stuff. Ugh. Don't need those sprint shoes. You can equip this sneak ring instead. Raises the success rate of steel. Also, Locke's got a new thief knife, which is better than his old blade in every way. Also, it randomly... Randomly, when he attacks enemies, he will steal from them. So, free loot's free loot, and I'm down. Um, we also picked up some new relics. Pretty simple stuff. Um, the wall ring casts reflect constantly on the subject. Also, the game was kind enough to uh, unequip all of Terra's equipment. So... True Knight? No, there's got to be something else we can put on that's better. White Cape? White cape. White cape. Gotta love that white cape. So, uh, your equipment, if you had anything really awesome on Terra, it will not get locked away. Because that would suck. But have no fear. Welcome to the city of Narsh. Narsh is a neutral city. We want no, we want no war here, but that shit empire won't listen. <laughs> I... I don't think I ever talked to that guy. Um, let's stock up on some tonics, because they're cheap. Cheaper than healing in battle. I mean, cheapest healing out of battle. So magic really does exist. The Gyro Castle can burrow under the desert and take you to Kalingan. How do you know that? How do you know that? Why can it do that? I saw some Moogles walking with a Sasquatch. What? Normally this NPC dialogue is really, really bizarre, but this this all takes the cake. Alright, what you got, Relic Shop Owner? Spin Shoes, Fairy Rings, Mithril Glove, True Knight. Nothing particularly interesting. To the Weapon Shop. What you got? Regal Cutlass, Mithril Claws, Kotetsu, Mithril Pike, Air Lancet, a Flail, and a Full Moon. Oh, I really want that Thief Knife. I really, really want that thief knife, but the full moon does the same damage from the back row. All right, I'll get a flail, which also does the same damage from the back row. Oh, because it's a ranged weapon, because you can flick the flail at people. Problem being, although it's a very powerful weapon, Celeste cannot use her runic blade with it equipped. It's not a blade. You can't, you can't, it, is, is the ability called runic flail? Didn't think so. Um, that being said, where's the armor shop? My armor is probably really old and crappy. Yay! Mithril shields, magus hats, bandanners, iron helmets. Oh wow. Iron armor. Oh jeez, I can't afford most of this. All right, uh, let's get some bandanas and some mithril shields. Apparently, everyone loves them. Some mithril shields, and I barely have enough money to properly equip the members of my team. Uh, good news is Sabin can't equip a mithril shield, so I don't have to get him one. Yay! Or can he? Because then I'm going to feel really bad. He can! Oh no. Let's play the pawning game. Don't need this. And I don't need this. Yes. There we go. And now, Gao will be able to equip that buckler, which will allow him to actually have a shield and therefore boost his defense. Yay! It all worked out! House to the far right contains the treasures I've collected. Take them before the Empire does. Only one of them is locked. What do you suppose is inside? We get it. There's something awesome in there and I'll get it later. God damn it. 
But Locke is a treasure hunter. Why can't he unlock the door? Or treasure chest. You get the point. I don't know. Who can rightly say? Not I. Not I. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, look. It's these weak enemies. There's more of them. Yay. Quickly. Desu Troy them all. Oh, man. Desu Troya. Best. Best Godzilla villain. Best. Just because his name is Desu Troya. Ooh, I stole something. It's probably something incredibly not valuable. I mean, like, what would you expect? Anyway. Oh, I miss this music. Yes. So now you can speak to the thieves. I'm Lone Wolf, the pickpocket. You might remember him. He shows up in a series of Final Fantasy games. Hey, let us out of here. I demand to see Edgar. How dare they keep us in this stinking pit? No can do. Those thieves. This is just like old times. I've got to wander around for a while. Oh no, my sprint shoes. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, how could I forget? So, welcome back, King Edgar. Make yourself at home. As I recall, I can't take money from the king. Look, don't you have a family? Shut up and take it. If you have King Edgar with you, the prices of goods in Figaro will go, will go down because the, they don't want to overcharge the king, you know what I mean? All right. Uh, I can't sell Cyan starting sword. It's something about it, you know? And sell all these heavy shields. Don't need those anymore. Plumed hats. Don't need those anymore, probably. If I do, oh well. And a leather hat. Oh, a few gold pieces away. Can't sell that buckler. Is important. Um, darn it, darn it, darn it. One green cherry. There we go. I just wanted to buy the drill. Penetrates an enemy's defenses. It's a single target weapon that deals buckets of damage. And there's another regular item shop over here. Where you can also get a, uh, a sale on regular items. Um, or is that just not the case? Either way. The point is, they threw in a little comment, and I'm really, really glad that it's there. Oh, there's there's a way to trigger a scene between Edgar and Sabin. Is it from resting? Let's check it out. Yes! My memory serves me well. Hmm. Castle hasn't changed much. Oh, wow. And yet, it's all different. Mom and Dad are gone. Everyone's gone since that day. Let's take a walk down memory lane. Tonight, he took a turn for the worse. There's a chance he might not make it. No, you're wrong. This can't be. A younger Saban. Matron, the king, he's... Uh... Oh, man. My father, I don't believe this. I guess Edgar likes green. Oh, man. And Saban is just crying. So they went and told you. Edgar, here you are. Your father, he just uttered his last wish. That Figaro be divided between you. This is nonsense. Everyone's saying that the Empire poisoned father. And the only thing on your mind is who's going to be the next king? You're all pathetic. No one cared when mom passed away either. That's not true. You are as bad as any of them, Sabin. Empire of murderers, they won't get away with this. Hmm. 
Matron, please, leave us. I'm out of here. I'm forsaking this war-sick realm for my dignity and freedom. You said you were sick of it too, right? Freedom. What'll happen to this realm if we both leave? What would Father say? Sabin, we'll settle this with a toss of a coin. If it's heads, you win. We'll choose whichever path we want without any regrets, okay? This one's for Dad. And well, the rest is history. And then you opted for your freedom. I wonder how long ago this was. Didn't they say... It's been ten years. Little Shrimp's grown into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab. Oh, the twins on the thrones. Sabin, I often wonder if he'd be proud of me. Wow. Don't you ever doubt that. Ten years, where has the time gone? Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. Here's to father. To mother. And to Figaro. And then Sabin rejoins the party. Ooh, I can uh, get rid of Locke's spring shoes now. <sighs> and that's that. Um, if you never rest in Figaro with Sabin and, Ed and Edgar in your party, that scene will never happen. But, lot of, lots of requests this month. It's your wish, I'll take you beyond the mountains. Go to Kalingan? Stop! I'm reasonably certain that the castle cannot just burrow wherever it wants. And as I recall, there are a series of set paths underneath the world. But I get this distinct impression that they didn't build Figaro. They found it. A sort of mobile fortress. Um, who really built it? Well, probably the Magi. Why did they build it? I can't rightly say. <laughs> Watch your step. First one's a doozy. Welcome to... Oh, God damn it! Welcome to Kalingan. Gotta take a right step out of the castle. For reasons beyond my control or understanding. Oh, God damn it. Fossil Fang? Oh, God. What the hell is that? Hit it with a drill. Stole a Revivify? Oh, yeah. That uh, heals the uh, zombie status effect. Yeah, the monsters around here are a lot tougher. So, uh, don't show them any mercy or something? Oh, jeez. How much health, how much health does this thing have? Oh, god. Almost 2,000. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of gold. I like that. I like that a lot. Welcome to Kolingan. Everyone was scared when the glowing creature stopped here. It left to the south toward Jador. Well, if you don't have a full party, stay away from that guy. He's an assassin. Pretty bad swords coming here. That guy's an assassin. <laughs> I like the these two guys are just like this assassin behind you, dude. What? He's an assassin? I belly up to the bar. That guy's an assassin. I talk to the bartender, dude. Assassin. If you only have three members in your party, we meet again. You can recruit Shadow. Just leave me alone. But I brought a full group because Shadow once again um, follows the w there's a 1 in 16 chance he'll just split rule. That being said, his equipment is still really powerful. The Imperial Knife is really strong and he can throw shurikens and you can outfit him with even better stuff. That being said, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Good night, everyone. Next time, uh, we'll go south to J J Jador and track Terra down. Until then, I'm going to do a little grinding. See you when I'm level 20. Good night, everyone.